10 bell southeast tower 1f now this way just leads to clemento which is blocked off but these lizard enemies look new they run away from us and there are our newts we finally found the newts They aren't going to get better. Another enemy in here is, of course, that scorpion, which is easy to sneak up on. Pretty easy peasy. Yeah, I'm just gonna do normal attacks. May take a little bit longer, but we only have so much MP. Boomy punch! The scissors is a dual attack. A bit annoying. But all it did was eat up some time. Yeah, the previous puzzle, you just had to look around the room and find the bot. In here... We'll spare the newt. Now, if an enemy isn't moving, that usually means it's hiding something. let spread out the damage for the first round. This flash takes out the imps, that's super handy. We punch! Yeah, we should be able to finish them all off now. Yeah, a guy with high agility would just make him so much better. So they can trigger sw temporary switches, but not the permanent switches. Now, oh, that basically counted as uh, leaving the same the same as a stairway. Oh wait. I think I messed up on that match reset. Oh, another one. A poison lizard. As its name suggests, it can inflict poison. I just kill it. Not a lot of treasure to be had here. Okay, I didn't mess up that puzzle. Another new enemy, those skeletons, which we've seen before. Crabs, killer crabs. Pretty, uh, fairly high defense. Oh, we got a bit of a split path here. Yeah, I just hint that there's something hidden here. Get the switch. And before I go upstairs, yeah, I'll head this way first. It's the same situation. This is based on audio cues, of course. Let's use the same item. It makes item makes the same sound. And hey, we came to the right. We came the right direction first. Find the key before finding the locked door. I will take it. That we got the sky key. What's this? Uh, musical notes should go from the bottom. Ah. Yeah, you guys aren't worth the trouble. Oh. Yeah, you always want to have something that'll stun the enemy in your skill ring, but I always forget to switch back after using bombs. Oh, 
Ooh, more killer crabs. Oh, the question is, will Flash work better than, draw, than Spark? Nope, I think they're still weak to Spark. Boomy Punch! There we go. Yep. Continue to use fire. Get some steamed crabs. Yep. And hey, enemies to drop permanent stat boosting items. Always nice. Just the game's way of saying, hey, open that. Come in that little. Come in that little opening. Not to treasure, but we didn't need to come here to open the way forward. Always nice to do that rather than hit the dead end, then have to backtrack. But I have to solve this puzzle again, or do I? Yeah, I do. Not too bad, just a little bit of a nuisance. And when it comes to these towers, yep, they have a lot of floors. Okay, that cut actually came because uh, Baltier the Cat dropped 10 gift subs during recording. <laughs> I didn't want, didn't want you guys watching this later to have to put up with the 10 messages. But yeah, thanks again, Baltier. You're awesome. And that was actually pretty good timing. Now we got, I think this is a dead end. Double check. Nope, oh, here's the hint. When the date changes in the back room, something happens. It's 6.15 right now. The door opens at 9 o'clock. So, what we need... Change it to 9 o'clock right there. Ladder outside is in place, however, there is actually a well-hidden secret here. Make the time 12 o'clock, and we've got a secret door. This is one of those hidden, super hidden chests I was talking about. Oh, for that we got the warding helm. Nice little magic resistance boost, and lowers enemies' magic resistance, so that'll come in handy if you're fighting enemies where you hit them with a lot of magic. Upcoming boss, and hey, the skeleton's just standing here. Backstab! Yeah, these guys have a fair amount of HP. That's the primary reason why I hit him, attack him from behind. I, mean, th I think I have like 120 HP. That's a lot at this point. But hey, the experience is very nice. And hey, who wants some more steamed crabs? Unfortunately, Maxim and Guy can't one-shot him yet. Oh well. And, yeah, we'll hit them all. <laughs> I like that gold! Now, in terms of... Uh, well, healing room's further away. We should be fine. Yep, oh. Gotta use the sky key. 
Oh, you gotta play this ball here. This is one of the best SNES RPGs, especially what and not made by Square. I'm actually playing a ROM hack of it, which which corrects a few things, script errors, bugs, adds a little bit of content. Not gonna fight those enemies. Guy! Hilda! I applaud your efforts to have come this far. You! Why did you say Hilda? What did she ever do to you, huh? Orders, you see. I had to check out the abilities of a certain of certain men. I considered your case for a while, and came up with an idea. Kidnapping your sister. You'd do anything to save her. That idea will cost you dearly, friend. Pick up your sword! Noisy, aren't we? Now it's time to see your real strength. So, while this guy looks like a Mega Man X Maverick, nope, it is, his name is just Kamu. Go ahead and... utilize some IP abilities. And hey, we got the Mega Quake from the Catfish Jewel! Yeah, it doesn't use a lot of IP, that's what, 10%? Oh, that was the wrong ability. I thought that lowered enemies' magic resistance. Uh, Ball Theory, this is actually the prequel to the first game. You, you, can play, you can play the first or second game in either order, uh, but the, the first one has not aged well, I'll admit. That's what, that's what we want to use. So this one makes a ton of improvements. So admittedly, if you play this one, if you play this one first, it's harder to go back to the first one. And there is one on Game Boy a Color, which is the direct sequel. It's kind of the third in the trilogy, you might say. And in, and there is a one on Game Boy Advance that is kind of the direct sequel to this one. Kind of takes place in the same area, but admittedly, it's pretty bad. So in, in terms in terms of best to worst, you got this one, the Game Boy Color one the first game, and then the Game Boy Advance one. But I would definitely recommend playing the first three. Fumi Punch! Yeah, this guy is not too much of a threat except against our castle monster there. There we go, Tia's Dish has some nice damage. But there's our first boss with an AoE attack. Eh, we can handle more than one. Or have Maxim do the healing. Yeah, like I said, Maxim is not a good black mage, but he makes a decent support for his character for magic. Sleep Singer did not put him to sleep. Sorry! And if there's one thing that stands out uh, uh, when you first start playing this game, it is definitely the music. Scarecrow has mentioned how good the soundtrack is multiple times since the stream started, and he's not wrong. Ah, uh, Maxim, heal yourself. Because Tia is dishing out more damage with her spells. And he did. It is more than I had expected. Guy. Maxim, but don't overestimate yourselves. The time will come. What are you talking about? This world will soon be ruled by sinistrals. By gods. Ruled by gods? What do you mean? <laughs> You people will never leave here. No need to... No. Door just closed! <laughs> you cannot escape. And all of, all of a sudden, my death text is back to normal. <laughs> is he trying to bury us with the tower? Let's try to open the door. Guy, go get Hilda. Okay. Hilda, hey, hang on! Oh. I knew you would come. Of course, we're gonna get out of here together. Magic stopping the door from opening. This doesn't look good. We haven't got all day. The door open. Uh, you guys had an escape. Please, hurry. Uh, you were the one I sought the cave, but why? There's no time for conversation. I'm warping as a ten bell. 